Hey guys, so it's finally happening. The green light for the FSD beta nags are finally going away and that confirmation came directly from Elon on Twitter. And this was asked from Omar. If you guys don't know who he is, just head on over to Twitter and it's whole Mars blog. Now, if you aren't aware of who he is, he typically just posts videos online of his flawless drives. If you guys want to check that out, it is available on Twitter or on YouTube as well. But most of his drives are in San Francisco and they are flawless, like I said, with FSD beta. Uh, regardless of what build it is, I think it's very optimized for that city versus anywhere else around the country. But he is one of the very few people that Elon does follow online and does watch videos regularly and this makes Omar one of the prime people to tweet out and get responses from Elon and this is exactly what happened this time around. He showed a video of the most recent build and how it made perfect turns and how it made a perfect drive throughout his entire trip and he tweeted out tagging Elon that users with at least 10,000 miles driven on with FSD beta should have the negs turned off. Now when I'm talking about negs, I'm talking about the wheel negs that you guys typically see in your cars when you take your hands off for at least 15 to 30 seconds. That's when the screen starts flashing blue and if you forget about it for a while, you're gonna see a strike out, it's gonna let you know that your car has been given a strike and you can do that up to five different times before you're completely taken out of FSD beta. Now on that note there has been a recent update with the Christmas update showing that the strike is only gonna be limited to two weeks at this point so if you guys do get kicked out of the program you're gonna get back in with the next software update or just within that two week period. Now anyways going back to that tweet that Omar did post out uh, it was responded by Elon with a simple phrase that he did agree and that an update is going to be pushed out in January and this likely means that the wheel neg is going to be taken away completely once you hit that milestone. Now the thing with Elon is typically his two weeks or his month timeline is going to be extended very far from what he says so you guys should be expecting maybe a month from two before you do actually see an update. Now speaking about the wheel neg, you guys do know that there are cheat devices online that you just attach to the steering wheel. That has been doubled down recently within an update. There has been even a text and confirmation that uh, the device is is being tracked and it is even showing on the screen if it detects that the device is being cheated at the moment so be aware of that if you guys do have a device take it off so you don't just deactivate yourself or get kicked out of the program but it seems like this is very counterintuitive if you guys do have the device running and then the next update that's going to be coming out according to Elon says that the neg is going to be going away uh, in general. So I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen there, but this seems only available to the North American market. So that means Canada and the States. Anybody outside of that, or you guys are probably going to be relying on the cheat devices for your autopilot or enhanced autopilot. Now that FSD is going to be merged with FSD beta, uh, I don't know if this whole stack is going to be able to detect the cheat device or this is going to be available only for the autopilot section of it. Eventually, they're all gonna be merged together. But hopefully, FSD Beta is gonna be available for the rest of the world as well, so you guys don't have to worry about buying any of these cheat devices and just rely purely on hitting that 10,000 mile milestone. So really, at this point, we're all really just waiting on Elon to clarify more about how this 10,000 mile uh, neg is gonna be removed. Is it that you're gonna go 10,000 miles on FSD Beta without a single strike? Or is it just a total of 10,000 miles uh, of your entire drive before it gets removed? Does it get removed with a software update or does it get removed automatically once you hit that limit? Let me know in the comments what you guys think below and how it should happen. Should there be another safety score section in the app or should there be some kind of tracking in the car where you can just see yourself where you're at in terms of hitting that milestone. But yeah, overall, this is very exciting and hopefully we all can hit that number and never have to see those blue screens ever again. Anyways, guys, this is just a short little update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe, bell notification. And this is John once again. Peace out.